now let's have some sort of uh, score to the game here for that I'm going to create a UI and go to the UI and click on the texture now the text is created to go into the canvas and click on this world space so basically what the world space does is that it changes the whole screen uh, it changes the size of the text with the screen so whenever you are enlarging the screen or whenever you are small uh, changing the size of the screen the size of the text also changes with it so go into the canvas here and I'm going to change the scale to 0.1 because in the world space that size is very uh, big and I'm going to detect where is that canvas right now somewhere I think uh, yeah there it is and I'm going to drag it here and in here I'm going to change the scale of the text as well because that text is too much high and 0.1 and 0.1 and I am going to now the text is very small so I'm going to change to something 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 and I'm going to put it to 0 here and I'm going to change it to some I think white color should be fine with it yeah white color is visible and from normal to bold and I think that's it and I'm going to place it somewhere in here so the score should change, be changing over here and uh, the, it should be of this type here and this type. So now let's create a score script here and I'm going to name it as a score here. Now I think uh, it's creating here, double click on it to open it up in the wheel studio. And what I'm going to do is that I'm going to first of all create a public uh, text for in order to create the text you should have a library of the UI so for that I'm going to use using unity engine dot UI for the text to work and in here I'm going to say that text now this text uh, is the text that have the reference to this text script here the other thing that I'm going to use is the public integer score here and let it uh, I think this should be well I don't need that thing so I'm going to create some sort of uh, you know public uh, function that should hold the value of score and public void score update and in this I should have an integer score type now what I'm going to say that that score is I'm going to change that to score points and score points plus is equal to score here and score points dot uh, sorry not this one my mistake text dot text is equal to score points dot to string now I'm should I'm going to put a zero over here as well so I think uh, now some of you are having some sort of uh, headache here that why I'm used writing this text or text basically let me change this text to my text here so that you shouldn't be confused so first of all I am using my text here this uh, text variable and I'm passing it a reference that did this should be of type text here now what I'm going to do is that in this uh, tile action here whenever we hit the tile with the color yellow here where is that uh, this one here we should add some sort of score point here so let's add some sort of score point here and uh, for that I'm going to what I'm going to do is that I'm going to find use the find object of type and in that I'm going to call the score script here and dot score points so basically score points is this uh, not so not sorry not the score points score update is the name of the function and the score update in the update I'm going to call this score here so basically how you can call this so you, there are two methods you can clearly create a public integer of uh, score value that should hold some sort of value like one and you should add one uh, sorry you should add score value here that you can change uh, dynamically in the unity as well and I think this should do the job and uh, let's head back to the unity and see what happens first of all what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass the reference to the text script to my own text that I have created why I haven't it uploaded let's me check that yeah I haven't saved that 
and uh, it's going it's giving no no error so i'm going to pass it over here and let's see what happens when we click on the uh, tiles and make it yellow you can see that score is now two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen 18, 19, 20. Uh, sorry, I missed that one. So we can, uh, we have created a good score to the game here. And the thing is that whenever we misses any white element, this score updating should stop and we should uh, be uh, go into the, we should be taken to the next scene. So I think uh, let's create some sort of scene, ending game and starting game scene here because pretty much game has been developed. And for those who are thinking that why I haven't developed the full game because this is a tutorial where I'm going to uh, develop a replica of the logic of the uh, this piano tile game. I'm not going to apply some cool graphics to the game here. Well, I can show you some how you can apply some animation to it. That's what I can do.